Hey, Different World BG here, and welcome to Business Boost. Uh, every Thursday here during the week, uh, we talk to you, get you ready for the weekend, talk to you about finance, your career, business, how to boost it. Different World BG here. Welcome to Business Boost. Have a special message for you today. People are asking what we do, and here it is. I teach almost any kind of business or professional how to harvest their windfall profit that's sitting in every business that most people don't allow themselves to mine. I teach people how to turn one-shot sales into ongoing perpetual streams of income. And I think I teach them how to have a lot more fun basically competing and gaining competitive advantage over everybody in their marketplace or in their industry. Every business I've ever looked at, and I've looked at you know, over 100, has between 10,000 and a million dollars of asset of dollars that are sitting on the table that they really aren't seeing. Now think about that. A lot of businesses are wondering where is the money and where can they find it within their business, right? And it has to do with the interesting aspect of leverage that about one in a thousand business owners, CEOs, or accountants ever recognize. It's the intangible assets. That's the branding. That's the advertising. That's the marketing, sales, strategy, goodwill, customer relationships, distribution centers, and expertises that a company possesses and ways they can infinitely, more effectively, productively use those expertises to their advantage, right? So let's talk about what that really means. Um, most business people think that there are two questions of business. Question one, what business are you in? Question two is how business? Now, with that said, I would say there's probably a third question with all due respect to, uh, to you, and that's how do you improve your business, which is the question that we tend to answer as your consultants, right? All businesses are designed to bring in a customer Right? That's the only purpose of a business, and that can only be accomplished through marketing and innovation. But those are the only two functions of business, and everything else is an expense. Now, we're going to tell you, right? let's, let's say there's a local entrepreneur, let's say there's a juice bar. right? I'm going to show you the first thing we would sit down to show them how to harvest these profits that they don't see. So I'm going to give you an example. Right? I can do an inventory right you. Uh, I'll do a self-audit, you know, if that would be useful. Right? And the first thing I look at is, what are you doing that you're not getting leverage enough out of? Right. What does that mean? Okay, it means this. Every business, knowingly or otherwise, is engaged in certain money rendering, selling, or customer or prospect generating processes they don't even recognize, let alone measure and analyze. Until and unless they analyze what they are and they measure how they're doing, they can't begin to see how much better they could be performing. Now, let me stop and talk a little bit about leverage in the new context that we're going to talk about. Most people particularly people who have a financial uh, uh, handicap, think of leverage as having two quotients to it. Upside leverage, upside potential, and downside risk. That happens when you buy real estate, lease a, capital, a piece of capital equipment. That happens when you buy any other kind of investment with a little or nothing down and a future payment obligation. I don't want to deal with that. I want to deal with the most wonderful kind of leverage each and every business person and probably almost everybody who is gainfully employed in any activity to an employer has upside leverage, parenthetically. It costs you as an employer, as a businessman or woman, as a professional, the same fixed amount, no matter what it is you do to drive business into your company. If you run ads, if you have salespeople, if you generate a referral type of a subtle, understated type of approach, if you do direct mailing, if you do outside field people, if you use manufacturers reps, if you run ads in trade publications, if you do trade shows, whatever you do costs you X amount to be in business to drive customers to your shop but that x is a fixed cost and it has no correlation to how the action or the process performs in, in other words you're going to pay that much no matter how much reward you receive right so the same ad that costs you ten thousand dollars in tomorrow's sunday la times could produce one order or call 10 orders 110 the same mailing piece can pull half a percent response three percent ten percent the same salesman or woman can gross one out of one out of 25 people, one out of 15, one out of five, one out of two. Correspondingly, that's only the first layer of this wonderful upside leverage everyone has and few people recognize. So I'm gonna to explain to you um, exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying that in most investments, you, the investor, you're gonna invest your money and you have a potential return, but you also have a potential loss, right? Most times that loss is very imminent and very frequently occurs, okay? So in other words, there's a great chance that you're going to lose your money uh, making your investment in the stock market, real estate, what have you, unless you're making a very small return, you know, money market, savings bond, what have you. But if you want a large return, a decent return, a 20% return or more, you got to be aggressive and there is a chance of you losing your money or your capital. 
but we're saying in the business, because of the power of marketing, there are ways of leveraging your marketing so that you could get 20, 30, 40, or 200, or 400, or 2,000% return on your money, which you're not going to find in any passive investment, particularly with zero downside. Now, you may be wondering, how do you get zero downside? I'll tell you. If you want to really develop wealth, the way to do it is through your own business as opposed to passive investment because the upside is so much greater and there's almost no downside. Yet the reality that most people read in the newspaper is that two out of three businesses that begin five years from now won't be around. But that's exactly right because they don't use any of the dynamics that we present to businesses when we consult for them, right? So you may be asking, how do we create the leverage and at the same time, make sure your investment is secure? Well, first it comes from analyzing, measuring, and identifying, and, and then replacing certain underperforming aspects of your selling, your marketing, your advertising, your branding operations with alternatives that perform better. And that's what we're an expert in. So please give us a call today. Hit the button below to book a consultation with us. Let's talk about your project today. Stop settling. You deserve to grow your business. You deserve to level up. Consult with us today. Call us at 917-524-7337. We'd be happy to speak with you. This is Different World BG. Follow us at Different World on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook.